My name's uh, Daniel Sturgis. I'm a reader in painting at the University of the Arts London, and also I am um, the programme director for fine art at Camberwell College of Arts. I'm a painter, and I suppose I'm interested in the history and the legacy of uh, modernist painting, particularly perhaps abstract painting, and how that manifests itself in the world now, how that history is, um, and the sort of, um, or histories really, how those histories are embedded, used, um, um, performed by contemporary artists, and what that means to use those languages. And that's led me not only to make paintings, but also to curate exhibitions about paintings and to um, arrange a symposium about paintings. Currently, I'm um, uh, working on a number, of pro a number of different projects, I suppose. Um, I suppose I always think that within the studio, one painting leads automatically to the next painting. And although um, that's a sort of a, a slow, linear, developmental sort of way of working as new ideas open up. Uh, specifically, I'm working on various projects. One project is working with Grisdale Arts, which is an arts organisation up in the north of England, where I'm um, looking at the idea or, of abstraction and landscape, uh, particularly um, how there's often a latent representation of landscape within abstract painting. And it will be, a, it will be an exhibition which will um, happen first at the Coniston Institute, which is a, a rural sort of village hall really um, in the Lake District where John Ruskin curated an interesting and important exhibition of landscape paintings and then it will tour. So that's one particular project around landscape and abstraction. And I'm also um, working with the Joseph and Annie Albers Foundation in um, America, uh, thinking about um, Joseph um, Albers's relationship to uh, the, to, to making paintings, re relationship to sort of the persistence of making paintings, if you like. I think anyone interested in contemporary painting can't really escape the fact that painting has a very long history behind it. And how the contemporary artist negotiates their position to that history seems really fundamental, really important. And I suppose it's through working in the studio, through thinking about um, how I make paintings, thinking about the things I'm interested in painting, thinking about how they, how contemporary paintings relate to past paintings, is really what's led me to further uh, to, to further my research, to further my understanding um, as to what those relationships are, and if it's possible for contemporary artists, contemporary painters, to have a, what I'd call a kind of critical understanding of past painting rather than purely a celebratory one where they're asking questions critical to that history but which is related very much to the present day and the, um, the, the uh, environment that we find ourselves in at the moment. Um, there's many ways that my, uh, my own research interests um, influence the teaching and working with students and I suppose um, in the most obvious way is sort of when talking with students individually within tutorials or seminars or uh, bringing knowledge um, to, um, to, to undergraduates and postgraduate students. Um, but also I um, have arranged many events really uh, around contemporary painting in London and elsewhere. So quite recently we, I convened a, a symposium really at the Tate where, with Mark Godfrey and Hal Foster around a exhibition display that they had there called uh, Painting After Technology, which was an event uh, which was an event co-organised by Camberwell and um, the Tate. And that would be a, an example of when particular research interests I have touch on research interests of another institution and then students were invited along with others.